science behind tattooing. When the needles are dipped into the ink, ink gets trapped in the reservoir. As the grouping of needles move up and down, ink goes from the reservoir and onto the needle thanks to surface tension and capillary action. This pulls the ink down so that as the needle pierces the skin, the ink drops into your body. The first layer of your skin, the epidermis, is constantly dying and regenerating, so it's crucial that the ink is deposited into the second layer of skin, the dermis. If you've ever had a tattoo fall out right away, this is because the needles didn't go deep enough. Once the ink is in your body, white blood cells, also called macrophages, are going to detect an invader and rush towards it. The macrophages will essentially ingest the pigment. Some will make their way to lymph nodes and be removed from your body, but others will end up stuck as they are filled with pigment. The tattoo you see is made up of these pigment-stuffed macrophages frozen in place. Over time, other macrophages will successfully remove these from the body too, which explains why tattoos fade over time.